This is a video review of Star Wars, the Black Series, Ray and Dio. So, Force Friday came and went here in Melbourne. I didn't really expect this wave of figures to arrive, but lo and behold, I was just shopping with my um, kids and my wife. And there she was, lone Ray on the pig at my local Target. So I had to grab her, um, not that way, grab the figure. Um, here she is. Now, first let's take a look at the package packaging. She comes in the standard well, Black Series packaging. Nice line art of Ray, Ray and Dio. Nothing on this side. She is figure 91 on the line. And as the bio of Ray, that's the bio of Dio. So let's take a look at Dio first. And I, I have the whole slew of Ray figures that we gotten since the beginning. I'll compare each of them. But let's take a look at Dio first. Now this is Dio. Yeah. Uh, this is a new character in the movie, uh, movie franchise. They've never seen Dio before. Um, first time we saw him was in that trailer, and they were like this. BB-8 and Dio was like this. Aside from that, you know, we don't really have any idea who this is, so no characterization, no connection to the character at all. We'll see when the movie comes out. Judging the figure on its own merits though, he is nicely detailed, nicely painted. Um, the dirt actually looks like dirt, doesn't look like poop. It's most of a um, Hasbro's previous um, battle damage and dirt looked like, looked like poop. This one actually looks like dirt, which is nice. Nicely painted, you know, not lacking any detail whatsoever. Even the back of the head has some mechanical detail there. Now at first I thought like these antennas were wired and things like that. And then I was moving them and it's like, oh my God, the plastic is so soft. Might break, but upon closer in inspection, they are actually connected there. I can now focus camera. Connected there by ball joints, all three. So still fragile, but not as fragile as I thought. Now. One problem with Dio is he can't stand. So Hasbro was kind enough to give us this um, plastic. It's curved at the top and flat at the bottom. And it, the only purpose it serves is to help Dio here stand. Now, uh, before we go there, this figure actually has no articulation, no head twist, no wheel rolling, only decent antennae. So um, I would have preferred that instead of giving us that, they flatten this part. It doesn't roll anyway, so there's no real function to that. And don't get me wrong, I'll probably lose, I'll put this on the shelf next time I come back for it. That would have mysteriously gone. Okay. Now that's him with Dio. Oh, with BB-8, so good size. That's enough with for Dio. Now let's take a look at the accessories. It does come with the standard Ray accessories, which we all know and love, starting with these. Um, yep, Han Solo blasters. Let's see if I can put them in frame. Yep, there you go. This is the one from the new Ray. This is the one from The Last Jedi, let's just fold it like this. This one is from the new Ray. This one is from The Last Jedi. So for all intents and purposes, they are the same. Same size, same mold, same everything. So much so that if I drop these on the table, I wouldn't know which one was new and which one was old. So yeah, no functional or any other difference there terms of the staff this is the staff that came from Alan journey which is functionally equivalent to the one that came with um, last Jedi this is the new Ray, Ray staff again they are 
almost I, I i thought they were the same but actually they are not they're the same length and the straps are almost the same but the difference is this new raft stay um ray staff actually splits there see there's a peg hole in the peg which makes it easier to i guess let's see let's remove this saber first which makes it a little bit easier to put it on her shoulders so go like that peg it on there you go also it makes it easier for us to insert the staff on the hand because before we had to actually squeeze this hand there um this staff on the fingers there which was a pain now i can actually just insert it there still a little bit of finger stretching but not as much as before which is nice um also comes with the lightsaber this is the lightsaber from the uh last jedi this is the new lightsaber so it looks it looked the same initially but now that i have it i've, I've looked at it a couple of times now i know it's different so this is luke's lightsaber this is a totally new lightsaber and the giveaway is that gold strip at the middle so yeah the hilt is a little bit shorter which i guess is um okay because uh, smaller hands but the blade itself is thicker it's only a little bit shorter i don't think i think it's more a figure not you know, movie facts or whatever but yeah thicker and it does look a little bit closer to purple than blue but the movie the trailers does show um raised lightsaber to be blue well i guess we'll wait when we see the movie if it's purple or blue so yeah, and this doesn't seem to be removable, which is okay. There's no way to holster the um, the hilt anyway. And usually, if it's removable, it's um, it's not aligned as well. So I just prefer the solid lightsaber anyway. And lastly, Ray comes with this really nice looking passenger bag. Has. Uh, it, it looks like a solid color but actually the the buckles are painted silver even if it's very faint and you just to use it you just you know, put it around her head it's a tight fit maybe put the around the head first there you go and it just fits snugly around her shoulder there Now one thing you can do, this hood is a separate piece, so you can put it over that as well. But yeah, good fit. Now taking a look at the figure itself. It seems that um, Ray's new costume is a combination of elements of her other costumes. So the top part this top part is functionally almost the same as her first movie appearance cleaner well, the same the bottom from the waist down looks like her island journey costume so if i have get the island journey here see it's white but it's the same knee pads even the shoes are the same so yeah it's not the same sculpt but it's the same style costume now the arms are different now these um straps only go from the bottom of the elbow but it does retain the same look as this where one side doesn't have the leather strap the other does so yeah and she does have that you know, so um little band on the shoulders which covers up the wound that she got in the bow from Kylo Ren, I think. But yeah. Nice looking ray. Now taking a closer look at the head scopes. Now let's see. This is 
heads come from the new ray compared to the old ray first ray so you can see how far hasbro has gone in terms of their face painting and sculpting technology and this light this guy uh, this girl looks a little bit like michael jackson but you know was good really was first release but yeah this this one just blows her out of the water this is the island journey one oh sorry the last jedi one again this was nice a lot nicer than the first one but you know this one blows it out of the water as well this is the best that they can do b before face painting technology so yeah now i don't know if i want to show you, need to show you this this is the one with uh, from the um speeder like that so yeah and this is the last ray that we got and this is the one with the face paint technology i still can't tell which one i prefer um, this one is good for bow poses just because of how you know neutral her face looks this one is a little bit you know, has a little smirk so nice as well now just to compare the ray quickly with the other rays Stand her up. This is the Island Journey Ray. This is the Last Jedi Ray. The no, no uh, Last Jedi, yeah. This is the Speeder Ray. Don't sleep on me. Jedi Ray. And this is again the first ray that we've gotten. Oh, pale faced ghost ray. So yeah. Now if you ask me in terms of which one is the best, I used to like these two the best just because this was really good at posing and this one was just you know, excellent head sculpt and all that now that we've gotten this yeah, i think he she incorporates all the good elements of that so nice face sculpt i like the costume that came from there very nice articulation as you've seen and a nice sculpt as well see the sculpt the arm i didn't show you that see how the arm is one smooth sculpt nice it's just one long arm of course if you try to bend the elbow it does break the skull but if you extend that see how seamless the arm is well there is a seam but you know there is seamless in terms of the skull this one smooth one so yeah this is the best race figure that we've gotten by far now just for due diligence let me compare her with some other figures that i have so you would have some form of the pizza spider man so that's her with pizza spider man um, mcu paul rudd mcu scarlett johansson there no slacking off paul rudd and here she is, just because you know me for my Transformers reviews. Here she is with Siege Side's wife. So yeah. Now, in terms of articulation, head is on a ball joint, side to side, all around, up and down. Pretty good possibility on the head. This goes around. Now, these, both of the shoulders were stuck. I think the paint paint was um you no know, stuck on the shoulders and i was trying as i can to move it but i felt like the hinge connecting the arm or the peg connecting the arm to body was susceptible to breaking so i had to dip it into hot water you know the trick dip it in hot water count 20 30 remove the figure try if you can move it if not dip it again count 20 until you, you know loosen it enough and yeah now I can move it out that way. Um, I've seen another review of Ray. There's one other review of, of Ray. And her um, his review had the shoulders stuck. Yeah. So 
looks like it's prevalent on a lot of figures at least based on the two reviews that i've seen um the elbow i've showed you already goes more than 90 degrees and swivels you saw how i had her dual wielding the lightsaber so no possible enough to dual wield lightsaber the the ab cruncher this girl is fantastic so go side to side you know, can do the um, um, some good ab poses um, pushes forward only that much out the back that much so yeah legs are hindered by both this and the gun so the gun is connected to the skirt and pegged to the like there's actually a peg there in the hole i haven't been able to pull it out i'm not even brave enough i don't think i try to force it out just because i don't know how thick the peg is and there's no real reason to anyway i get the possibility i need even with that stuff but here yeah, it's pegged there now the leg can go only that much forward because of the skirt that much back not much more on the other leg side to side is that much swivel at the top but hindered by this pig this one not so hindered um double jointed knees par for the course and par for the course as well hinges and pivots on the foot so yeah really posable figure now I guess final thoughts i've seen a lot of people saying uh this is another ray you know same accessories won't be any difference um maybe you should just get the um sh figure arts one because it's nice looking and all that um but yeah i think having this one in hand i mean she can cover a lot of the poses that i need the sculpt is excellent the head sculpt is excellent and it's starting to look like we won't have any need to go for imports hasbro has been you know, upping its game so i mean the need forget the only real reason i get imports is you know the accuracy the look of it the head sculpt and all that but yeah starting to look like we don't really need to get imports just to get an awesome figure this one is a really really awesome really poseable ray and i like it so if you can find her on the shelves by all means get her I and mean, i have all of the rays and i like her the best so yeah pick her up before she's gone in the shelves so yeah that's it um that's the review so if you like that review please do leave a like leave a comment do subscribe i mostly do transformers reviews so for anyone new i still do some star wars but mostly transformers some marvel no just so you know but please do subscribe i do post com um, content as often as i can um, leave a like leave, leave a like um, share the video and uh, i'll catch you next time thanks for watching